Welcome back. In this video, we'll be aligning frames 4 through 12 to the waterline on the strong back. This will primarily be a musical video. I'll only interrupt when there's key points to be made. Yeah, I'm going to cut that half inch board shorter.
Here, I just want to give an honest look at the accuracy of which I've aligned the water lines to the laser line. I still need to align frame 9. Okay, so I'd like to call out a few things that I wish I would have done differently. This frame 9, because this is the seat back upside down of the backward seat in the boat, this one is at an angle of 10 degrees, which is much more difficult for me to align up and down. If I could do this over, I would have set this at the water line first, and I would have used every other frame to align to this one because it's so difficult to move. But since I didn't, I now need to adjust this one. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So you'll see me use a combination of clamps and really the, um, the level to try to lift this thing up because it looks like, um, boy, maybe, maybe a half an inch too low here, maybe an inch. So that's what I'll be working on now. I was about an inch too low, so I'm slowly bringing this up. Now I'm about a half inch too low. And this side is too high, so I actually have to cut this one short. This is not going to be an easy task, but it is a task that I am up for. I decided to use the oscillating tool to cut the strong back leg in place. <laughs> And then I use a chisel to clean up the bottom edge. I measure and adjust to ensure the bulkhead is 10 degrees off vertical.
Okay, so looking down the stem, I think we've done a pretty good job of getting all the frames at the right height. Now, they're pretty well aligned center-wise, but as you can see, some of them, they can still move if we want them to. So, even though they're screwed in, there's still some wiggle room. So when we put the stringers in, we can get these things aligned. But most important, I wanted to get the, the height aligned on each one. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. Coming all the way to the back of the boat. So the next step here on the strong back is to seat the stem properly into the frames. And when you cut these on a CNC, there's a rounded corner here and they fit kind of tight. So I'm gonna widen them up, square them out, and then I have to bevel them to fit the curve of this stem. That will be in two videos from now. The next video, what I'm gonna do is actually cut out the chines. So we'll do that at the, uh, doing a little bit in person. I'm gonna do a little bit at the Minnesota Woodworkers Expo. So till then, cheers.